Um, my name is Mistress Carrie. I'm the nighttime DJ of WAF 107.3 uh, Boston. And I started calling the phone booth as a goof on the air for something to do. And now it's this huge, weird monster thing. <laughs> do you want to show us a little bit around your office, the things you have around Yeah, they, I'm the only girl DJ, so I kind of made the office my own and decorated a little, so. Um, I collect Pez, so I have Pez dispensers everywhere. I have like 200 of them. It's kind of a little hobby. Um, I get little trinkets and weird things um, in the mail all the time from listeners, little skulls and weird stuff, so they all go up on the shelves. And my Yo Quiero Taco Bell guy and uh, my Mr. Potato Head. And uh, those are all empty bottles of champagne that we've consumed in the studio, even though we're not supposed to drink or eat anything in there, but we do anyway. And the trophy of the one night of four bottles of Dom in the studio, that's kind of like the altar of alcohol. My mosh pit helmet sent in by a listener, because they heard that I broke my nose at a concert, so they made me a mosh pit helmet. And just pictures of bands and cards and all of my flowers from Valentine's Day. Cool. How did you get the name Mistress Kim? Um, I started working as a DJ and they didn't want me to make up a name so they just said use your real name so it was Carrie and after a month or two listeners started calling up saying that they were spending more time with me than they spent with their wives and they felt like they were cheating on their wives or cheating on their girlfriends and that they had a secret mistress that no one knew about and so the listeners started calling me Mistress Carrie and so I just started responding to it and all of the management here was like Hmm, Mistress Carrie, dominatrix, whips and chains, and so they thought that the marketing would be really funny, and I'm like that anyway, so it just kind of stuck, and now everybody calls me that. Cool, so you're totally happy with getting that name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't look normal anyway, so I might as well have a weird name, too, you know? Well, how would you describe your typical fan? Pitbull, 27-year-old guy might have a girlfriend, might be married, maybe has a kid or two, but hardworking, um, stressed out most of the time, and uses WAF as their way to vent out their frustrations and kind of escape whatever normal life they have, and so they want to live vicariously through the DJs. So when we do crazy things, they want to do it as well, and so they do it through us. And they're, they're crazy. They're pit bulls. They are loyal to the death. AAF listeners are like no other listener on earth. They will stand by you and they will fight for you as long as you give them what they want and as soon as you give them something they don't want they will bite you in the throat and try and kill you. And so we know exactly what they like and we give them exactly what they like and they stand by us and they are loyal to the death. How do the Mistress Carrie fans vary from the regular AAF listeners? Mistress Carrie fans are a little bit they're a little bit different because I'm the only female DJ. So there's no attraction between the 18 to 34 year old demographic that we attract with any of the other DJs. They don't, you know, call up and send flowers to any of the other DJs, but I'm kind of like the naughty little sister of this little family. And so they, I, I'm the girl that their mom told them to stay away from, but they can't help but be attracted to it. And so they, they call me up and will pretty much tell me anything. I can get them to confess their deepest, darkest secrets and tell me their fantasies and give them advice on what it's like to be inside a female mind, but I still have enough of the male mentality that they don't really know if they want to go partying at the strip joints with me or if they want to take me out for dinner and buy me flowers. They can't really figure out which, which is cool. I keep them guessing, so. How do you talk to them when you're talking to them on the phone when they call me? I say whatever I want to them. They call up, and if I were sweet as pie, they would probably be disappointed. So I say whatever I want. If I'm in a bad mood, I bitch at them, and they take it, and they like it, and they take it as a compliment that they called Mistress Carrie, and she cracked some joke about them. It's, a, it's like a badge of honor, like they made it through the war. I called Mistress Carrie, and she called me an idiot, and it was really cool. And you know, But at the same time, I really respect their opinions, especially when it comes to the music, and so I really listen to what it is that they have to say, 
especially if they disagree with me on something, they call up and I really want to get um, into a discussion. I'm Sicilian and Portuguese, so I want to argue to the death with them, and we do. And so I have a very, very respectful relationship for my listeners because I'm a DJ, and without the listeners, I'm a schizophrenic talking to myself. So I need them to be out there listening, and I need their support. So I respect what they are, but I'm going to give them a hard time at the same time. Are there particular fans and listeners that you talk to often or ones that you've met in person? Every, WAF has probably one of the most active promotions departments, and we're out a lot. And unlike a lot of other radio stations where the DJs just live in the studio, our DJs are forced to live outside of the studio, at the clubs, in public, with the listeners, up close and personal. So I meet a lot of the listeners, and I'm out at the clubs a lot, checking out local bands and national bands, and I'm very recognizable to them, and they can come right up to me and talk to me. And because I'm with them in their cars every day or because I'm with them at work every day, they already feel like they know me. And so they just come up and they're like, hey, how are you? How's it going? So we're out a lot. I've met a lot of the listeners, and they're all crazy. <laughs> Which do you prefer, talking to them on, on the air and on the phone or seeing them in person? I don't come from a DJ background. This is my first DJ job. And it's really strange to be reminded from time. Marker. Okay, see you later. Okay. Y'all come back. <laughs> Good.